Today we are going to talk about equal shares. What are equal shares? Well, if you're thinking that they're equal parts, then guess what? You are correct. Equal shares are the same as, are the same as equal parts. And what are equal parts? Well, all that means is that they are the exact same size. That's what's important. They are the exact same size. So if something is being shared equally, that means everyone is going to get the exact same size. So if I had, and I'm just going to draw a square, well, if I had this square, which is going to be a piece of paper, and I'm going to share it equally. If I said, okay, my friend will get this piece, and I will get this piece, this is not equal, because they are not the same size. But if I were to try to share it equally with another friend, I could share it this way, this would be equal to this side. Maybe I would want to share it another way. Maybe I could try sharing it this way. Instead of doing it diagonally, I could share it vertically. I could also share it horizontally. And they're still the same size. So this is equal to this. This is equal to this that would be considered to be equal the same way this is. So when we think of equal shares, we have to make sure we think of are each of the friends getting the same amount? Is it being shared equally? So that is something very important for us to think about. So I'm going to do a question for us and it's going to be four friends are sharing two pieces of paper. How much paper will each friend get? Now remember, we have to share equally. So four friends Four friends are sharing two pieces of paper, two pieces of paper. How much paper will each friend get? We have to remember that this needs to be done equally. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw my two pieces of paper. And there's several ways we can try to solve this. So let's call our friends John, Jack, Mel, and CJ. So we have our four friends. We have John, Jack, Mel, and CJ. And they need to share these two papers. Now, if I gave John this and Jack that, would that be equal? Absolutely not. It would not be shared equally. If I gave Jack this and Mel this, would it be equal? No, because John and CJ would not have gotten a piece. So we need to make sure that as we're sharing, they need to each get a piece, and the piece that they get must also be equal. So we can start off by having the papers. So what do I mean by having? Cutting them in half. So right now we have four pieces, one, two, three, four, or four parts. Now, can we share this equally amongst the four friends? If you said yes, you are correct. John can get a piece, Jack can get a part, Mel can get one part, and CJ can get one part. So this would be for John, this would be for Jack, this would be for Mel, and this would be for CJ. And each person 
has been able to get one part or piece of the paper. And this would be done equally. Now, is there another way for this to be done? Yes. Let's try another way. So, still the same two pieces of paper. And instead of putting them in halves, we are going to try putting them in fourths. But what can we do? We can actually half this half, half this half, and now we have them in fourths. I call them fourths because there are four parts to each for the whole, four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now can John, let me place the names here, John, Jack, Mel, and CJ, get something that's equal? If you said yes, then you're correct. John could get these two pieces right here. Jack could get these two pieces right here. And do we have enough for Mel and CJ? Yes, they can get from here. So Mel would get these two pieces right here and CJ would get these two pieces right here. So now, do they all have equal shares? Yes, they do, because now each friend can get two pieces or two parts. John has two, Jack has two, Mel has two, and CJ has two. So we have John with two parts, Jack with two parts, Mel with two parts, and CJ with two parts. And this is why we call this equal shares because it is equally shared amongst the friend. No friend has more or less than the other. And I'm going to show you one last way this could be done. There could be other ways, of course, but we're going to do one last way. So we've done the half, we've done the fourths. How else could this be divided? Hmm, I wonder. Well, if you were thinking and said, well, how about doing this? Then you were right. Now we have it in eighths. We have it in eighths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's look. We still have John, Jack, Mel, and CJ who need to share the four pieces, the two pieces of paper, sorry. So John could get this. John could also get this. Let's say Jack could get this. Jack could also get this. Mel could get this. Mel could also get this. CJ could get this. And CJ could also get this. Can we do the exact same thing here? Let's make sure we are doing the correct thing. John has two. Jack has two. Mel has two. CJ has two. So we can definitely do it again. So John to John. Then we have Jack and Jack again. We have Mel and Mel again. And CJ and CJ again. So now we can count to see how many pieces of the paper each friend can get. So let's write their names. John, Jack, Mel, and CJ. Now we have to remember they got in both pieces. So John has one, two, three, four, four pieces. 
four parts. Mel, one, two, three, four. Well, Mel is right there, four pieces, four parts. Let's look for Jack. Let's hope he has four as well. One, two, three, four. Do we see why it's considered as equal shares? Everybody is getting an equal amount, the same size. And CJ has one, two, three, four. Four pieces or parts. And that is what we mean when we say equal shares. Everybody gets an equal share. In this, each got four. In this, each one got two parts. And in this, each one got only one part. We will move further and talk a little bit more about fractions. So fractions is going to be the next lesson. Fractions, and we will learn how to actually correctly label the fractions because these aren't always going to be called parts. We're going to call them by their fraction name. So that is the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and come back for another video.